Visa Floor version 13 includes a variety of modeling features, which allows users to quickly create and manipulate geometry. Let's take a look at how a few of these features enhance and streamline the model creating workflow. So first we're going to go ahead and look at this floor plan one, and I'm going to zoom in to the radial grids here. This is where we're going to be spending most of our time. The first thing I want to do is we need to add in an opening that's going to be on this floor and the floor above uh, in this radial bay here. So in order to draw this in easily, I'm going to go ahead and actually use our construction lines to create a construction line to draw on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the drawing grids dialog, and I'm going to enable construction lines. Now there are three ways to draw in construction lines. The first is by defining a start point and an end point. The second is by defining the origin point and then an angle. And then the third is by choosing a member, a beam, a wall, or a project grid, and then setting an offset distance. First to start, I'm going to go ahead and choose the point angle option, and I'm going to choose 75 degrees and click apply. I'll zoom in here. I'm going to turn on my snap points, and then I'm going to go ahead and click a location along the beam here. Now that defines the first beam that we need that's going to frame out the opening. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in that beam now just by clicking those two points. Next, I can go ahead and draw in my other just construction grid. And this time I'm going to use the offset from beam option and choose a distance of five feet. So I'll click apply again, zoom in, I'll click the member that I want to offset from, and then I can set that offset. Now again, I can go ahead and draw in that new beam. Now I have the opening, I have now the, the framing that uh, is going to be used to frame out my opening. I'm going to go ahead and just draw in this opening very quickly. And there we go. So now that we have with this opening, we can go ahead and select all the elements that we want to copy up to the second floor. So if we go ahead and look at the second floor, we can see that we're missing the elements here in these radial bays. So if I go back to the first floor, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually select these elements. And now I don't want to just select them one time. I'm actually going to use a feature called Save Selections to make sure that when we select, select those and then save those to a selection, we can reference them or use them over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect my entire model. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, one of my selection tools. In this case, I'm going to choose to draw a line through the beams and elements that I want to select. And so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing my lines through those elements. So I want all these beams, and then I obviously want the beams here for the opening. Next, I'm going to do the same thing down here at this radio grid set, or radio base section. And we have those members. Now those are all the members that I want selected. So I'm going to go ahead into my save selections. And I'm going to choose to save this as, let's call this radial beams. Click OK. Now I can close out this dialog. Now if I wanted to enable everything and disable it again, I can see that when I go ahead and retrieve this selection, those are the members that we have selected. Now with those members selected, we can use that to copy these elements from one floor to the next. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the copy uh, feature. And in the copy selected items dialog, we can see here that we have this option for copy to another floor. In this case, we only have one other floor, so we have floor plan two. And we can see we can copy the selected beams, columns, walls, or joints. So it's always going to be on what we actually have selected, so that's why we use the save selection. And it's not going to copy the opening, we would need to add that back in on the second floor, but it will copy all of these members. Now once we're ready, we can go ahead and click apply. And then we can turn back the selection on and choose floor plan two to see everything that's now copied to that floor. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and add in that opening too. So overall, modeling features like construction lines, save selections, copy floor to floor, make it easy to model multi-story building structures in RISA. So if you have any questions about these features or any other features uh, in RISA floor, please visit risa.com or uh, send us an email at support at risa.com. Thanks very much.